join me and welcome my mother-in-law, uh, Mami Angelita, as she's going to share her testimony for each and every one of us. Lalamig ako. <laughs> okay. May mga body ko ha. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. When Pastor Pong asked me to speak for this morning, I'm quite hesitant. Kasi I feel that I'm not good enough to say anything. But then, I have read from uh, Dick, Dr. Dick Warren, uh, anything that you don't share, it's the devil's plan. Yes. Uh, so, I got uh, storehouses, a storehouse of testimonies to share to you. Kaya, don't worry, I'll be just like Dr. Uh, Bishop Bien once said, kiss, keep it short, stupid. But mine, keep it short and simple. Okay. Uh, my uh, verse comes from John five, first John five ten. All who live in the Son of God know in their hearts that this testimony is the word of God and true. And from First Thessalonians one eight. And now the word of the Lord is ringing out from you to people everywhere, even beyond Macedonia and Achaia. For wherever we go, we find people telling us about your faith in God. Okay, I love to tell you my story. It is our life's journey. Journey is an app of or instance of traveling from one place to another. And literally, our life is a journey. Both, we have passed both through smooth and rough roads. In 42 years of Pastor Katjo's ministry, we have been to five UMC or United Methodist churches in different places around Nueva Ecija. Kaya it's just talagang we, our life is a journey. We, uh, just after a pastor graduated from the seminary, he was appointed in Camiling Tarlac with our two little babies. Dalawa, maliliit pa yan, bago panganak pa itong si Pam. <laughs> then after Camiling, uh, we were transferred to Gimba, UMC, United Methodist Church, where my three younger kids were born. So two plus three, they were, there are five children. Then again, we were transferred to Munoz, UMC, where the three of them spent their elementary years and one, two, spent their high school there in Munoz. Then again, from Munoz, we were transferred to San Jose, Nueva Ecija. So makita ninyo na talaga we travel a lot. Oh. And for the last 12 years, ni Pastor Cato, we were spent in Lupao UMC. We were then called the NTA. No permanent address. <laughs> Life in the ministry was so rewarding. Not in terms of finances, but the work itself, sharing God's kingdom. Amen. In our journeys, we have passed through smooth and rough roads. Uh, not mentioning the work in the church, the struggles there, our ups and downs. God, but God never leaves or forsakes or forsake us. <laughs> So many times we have passed these roads, smooth ones. When our kids are growing, still small, we may used to, uh, we, uh, we would wanted them to grow like Jesus, as in Luke 252, and Jesus increased in favor and is done with God, in favor with God and men. So we made sure that they go to church every Sunday, 
they attend the children activities, rallies like that, in the church, join the choir, and even outside the church. So the five of them uh, were able to, were choir members in the church where they belong. At least, Langitung Walter, when he, when he, he was small, nag-attend din siya ng choir, but then, subo siya ang pinakamabata sa mga choir members, they often tease him, bakit ang puti-puti mo, ganyan. So, doon na una, ayaw niya kasi napapansin siya, pinagsasabihan siya ng mga ganun. So, yun, nag-decline siya sa mga pagkanta-kanta, ganyan. Pero maganda pa rin ang pagkanta niya, hindi lang medyo nakasa, ganyan yun. Yes. Eh, doon ang isang, doon ang dalawang sasabihin ko, kasi yung tatlo, wala sila, eh, doon ang alam. Perfecto ko na lang. Okay. At si Pam din, oh, active din niya, lalo sa elementary years niya. He was even awarded it at least of the year. Okay. Kasi medyo boy siya nung siya bata pa. Kapag kamahalan na siyang boy nung kung pasok sa school ng teacher niya, pala lalaki. When he was in high school too, ano, cut commander yan, si AT commander. Kaya minsan na na meet ko yung isang classmate niya, sabi niya, alam mo tita, sabi niya sa akin, yung si Pamela, sobrang strict to nung siya is si AT commander. Masumit yan. Pero mabalik na siya ngayon, di ba? So, yan, mga ganyan. So, our story is not that it's both as you seem, it seemed to be. Many rough roads then, like when my youngest daughter, si Angela, met an accident. It was Sunday at maraming pata sa church. Meron swing doon na, di ba yung mga swing na magkaharap, may sa gitna, ganun. Doon, they were playing, alakas ng ugoy. Hindi namin alam, not knowing that the, yung bakal sa gitna ng swing is putol. Lumusot ang paan ng aking anak doon. Eh, patuloy ang swing na ganyan. So, just imagine, bali ang paan ng aking bunso. So, we rushed her to the hospital and She stayed there for a month. At sa one week, one on one week niya doon, nakabitin ng kanyang paa diretso na ganyan. May uh, nakabitin isang kilo ng pato para lang mag-diretso niya sa inyo. Baka, yeah, one week yan, isang kilo ng pato. Then after one week, another week for the operation, nilagyan ng bakal ang kanyang paa ng ating bunso. So napakasakit na tignan ang isang ina ang kanyang anak sa ganong kalagaya, kung pwede ako lang, parang ganun. So, imagine ko din, na that was Mary hanging, looking at her uh, son hanging on the cross. Di ba, we have celebrated the Good Friday last week lang. Hmm? The agony of a mother. Kanya, na kung pwede ako lang. But God send his son for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Marami, ipwento ko rin si Pastor. Another rough road was that we had when Pastor was comatose. One early morning at two o'clock, malakas ang snore. Nagihilig siya ng malakas na malakas. Ginigising ko siya, ayaw. So, ginawa ko, sampal dito, sampal dyan, nakabawin ako na, pag gano'n. Para magising eh, ayaw magising. Alalala ako. Mahuli na lang, merong Japonesa doon sa baba ng bahay. So, I called them, kasama kanyang asawa. Pakitawag yung aking apo na may sasakyan. So, dinala namin siya sa hospital. He stayed there for a week, and he survived. At prone din si Pastor sa isang sa mga accidents. Two times na nagbumaligtad siya sa motor. Single motor. No, motor siklo. Yung unang accident niya, mayroon siyang kasama. Pero nung isa, nung pangalawa, mag-isa lang niya. So, uh, yung accident na yun, 
unang accident, pinayuhan na siya ng kanyang mga anak na kung pwede, huwag na siyang magmotor-motor. Kasi mayroon naman din siyang sasakyan, mayroon siyang box na gagamitin. Eh, ewan. Then, after... <laughs> Ngayon, minsan, yung motor niya, pinahiram niya sa isang pastor din para sa kanyang misyon sa Bispino. And he bought another one. At yun ang ginamit niya sa pangalawa niya motor, eh mas grabe ang nangyari dun sa second accident. No? So yung mga anak niya, pinayuan pa rin siya. But di pangana, which is nasa Amerika, medyo nagalit na at pinayuan siya. Pero with love naman, nung pagalitan niya, kanyang ama, at sabi sa akin, natawa pa nga ako na magsubong sa akin na si pastor. Alam mo, nasaktan na nga ako, pinagalitan pa ako. Lalo <laughs> alis So, isip ko din, ganyan din ang Panginoon. He gave us lessons to learn. Diba? Kahit na matigas ang ating ulo, ginagawa pa rin natin ang ating gusto. But, hindi ibig sabihin na pag tayo pinaparasahan, hindi tayo mahal. God loves us so much. At si Pastor, sa 10 years ng kanyang ministry, video nga ba? <laughs> uh, madalas ko na siyang dahil sa last 10 years na kanyang ministry ay madalas ko na rin siyang dalhin sa hospital kasi marami siyang sakit kung ano-ano na Matthew 3.3 says but pastor did not stop in the work of the Lord patuloy pa rin siya Matthew 3.3 says prepare the way for the Lord clear the road for him As John prepares the way for Jesus, Pastor did too by preparing others to welcome Jesus. People who do not know Jesus need to get ready to meet Him. So, He did to prepare them by explain, explaining their need for forgiveness, demonstrating God's teachings by our conduct and telling them to come to Christ that they have meaning in life. We too can clear the road, tayo naman din, for Him by correcting misconceptions that might be hindering people from coming to Christ. Someone you know may be given, uh, may be open to a relationship with Christ. Now, how are you helping them around you to follow Him, to follow Jesus Christ? Walter and I have been to... Uh, the other way only, to Burj Khalifa, Sada. Wow. Yan, and Global City. Yeah. Through the uh, Global Village, through the courtesy of Pastor and Pastor and Walter, <laughs> ah, nagpunta kami, nagdalawa lang kami, solo, solo flight kami dalawa. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the top, punta kami doon, at the top. Ah, picture dito, picture dyan, selfie dito, selfie dyan. Pati yung mga statue, picture, picture kami din. So, when I asked the price, nang yung isang picture, naku, pinakita sa akin, 265, something, one shot lang yun, parang nakakusan na kami. At sabi ko, nay, nag-inamot to. <laughs> Not knowing, na yung dalaga, yung kausap ko na yun, is ilo ka, nag-in pa na. <laughs> Naintindihan niya ako, sabi. Ma, nagpariwanag na siya. Ah, okay. So, ibig kong sabihin dito, sa ating pagkikapag-usap, siguro maging magalang, gano'n, ano, yeah. ma maayos ang ating pananalita. Yun. Yes. What are you doing and what are you saying to those around you to follow Jesus? No? Sa so, pagsasabi natin, alam yung kausap natin, kala natin diya tayo naintindihan. Yung pala, hindi na tayo, pag nakapagbitaw tayo ng masarang word. Ano na ang uh, testimony, ano na ang witness natin? At the age of 73, pastor rested. He pulled the fight, finished the race, Amen. and have kept the faith. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when we are uh, when we are 
are when the kids are growing up, we claim the words of Joshua as he said, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15, something like that. Okay. Now four of them are married. Cherry, the eldest, is very active in the church. She and her husband are regular choir members in Wilshire, Wilshire United Methodist Church of America. Pa and Pastor, wow, I love it. I have a, I have a son-in-law, Pastor. Amen. Yes. 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 And Pam also when she went home last July sa kanyang ama because yun na nga, amatay siya. Nagulat din kanyang mga kapatid. Wow, hindi alam ni Pinky ito o Pam. Pinky ang pakalit sa amin kasi. So sometimes I call her Pinky. Pam, sabi ng kanyang dalawang kapatid na bata sa kanya, Mami, ang bait-bait naman na ni Manang. <laughs> kasi kilala siya sa masungi. Yes, what a transformation of Pam. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hindi sa katawan, ha? Kasi, malit ang katawan lang yun, no? Ngayon ganyan na, no? <laughs> And the third one, Blossom. Isang Japonesa yun. Very active din sa church. Yung kanyang asawa is a guitarist sa kanilang praise and worship. And Walter, the fourth, the only boy, I love him so much. Wow. 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 Married to Sheila, and what a transformation also. Uh, I saw in Sheila the faith. Amen. Uh, she's very active. I will also support to Great Nation Church. Hindi ako magtatakaw na one day, pa baka magkaga po ng daughter in law pastor. Kasi si pastor, si pastor po, gusto niya magkaroon din anak na mag-pastor din si Walter. Pero na kayo, hindi pa rin. <laughs> Pero, thank you na rin. Thankful na rin ako. Pero kung sana yung na pastor. At baka, Lord, yung law na pastor. <laughs> At yung aking bunso, uh, siya yan lang yung single pa. Uh, very active sa church. She sings in their praise and worship. Gaya nyo. Maganda din ang boses. Maganda din ang boses nila. Maliban na sa amin. <laughs> Ganun yun. Ang ganyan. Meron pa ako ng lupa dito. So along our journeys, we see the goodness and the beauty and the faithfulness of God. Amen. A week ago, pinasyal kami ni Pastor sa Ras Al Kaimang. Wow. Yes, it was an awesome and joyful road trip. Makikita mo ng gagandahan mga bundok na naglalaki. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, what's a miracle? Di ba? Miracle. It took a miracle to put the stars in place. It took a miracle to hang the world in space. Mm-hmm. It took a miracle to form those beautiful mountains. Amen. Mga rocks na kakalaki. It took a miracle. And it took a miracle to save us from our sins. Amen. God loves us so much. He saved my soul, cleansed and made me whole. It took a miracle of love and grace. Amen. And just last Sunday, we celebrated the Easter or Resurrection Sunday. Everybody is happy because we know that Christ lives. He is risen. He lives in our hearts. Amen. Another experience, kasi it's a the testimony. Magagalit ang Panginoon pag hindi ko i-share sa inyo. Kasi isa na pastor. Sabi ni Pinky, kasi 15 minutes lang, Mami. O sige, gagawin ko 10. Pero hindi pala, isang oras pala. <laughs> okay, another experience of mine was when I arrived here. It is my fourth uh, time, na, fourth, fourth, kaapat na beses na pagpunta ko dito na January 17. 
Pero may kaba pa rin, ano? Lalo na sabihin ni Pam na it is a transfer flight. O, paano kaya yan, kapo? Okay, sige. Kaya yan. Sa tulong ng Panginoon. Ang sabi niya pa, Mang, Auntie, pwede. Kaya mag... Basta kasama mo lang si Magta. Sabi niya. Eh, sino Magta? Sabi po. Magtanong ka. <laughs> ayun. So, ayun. Mabuti nga hindi nga sa Malaysia ako napunta sa transfer flight. Kasi nung ibalita sa akin nila Bishop Bien, nasa Malaysia sila nag-transfer, eh, may pasakay-sakay pa sila ng bus. Nako, huwag na. Mabuti na lang. At pinalitan ni Pinky at ako'y na-transfer flight sa Thailand. Yes. At pagbaba ko sa Thailand na, ayan na. Sabi ko, si babaan na. Ah, mapasin ko. Ako na lang dumadaan. Yung mga kasama ko mga, ano, iba naman na. Ang, ang direction nila. So, tingin-tingin ako. Ah, araw sa transfer flight. Araw, araw. May mga araw naman. Tingin-tingin. Mabuti na lang. Ba yung wakalito ba yung tawag? Yeah. Ah, ako. Kahaba pala yan. Ako. And then, pagdating ko, nagtanong ako sa second floor. Ah, doon para sa second floor. Pero after, no, mahabang-habang lakad na yan. Nakarating ako sa second floor. And then, no, ko, what else? Nung makita ko yung bus ng Abu Dhabi na flight test. Kasi marami din bus yan. Iba't iba mga airlines. What a relief ka ko. That is just what life is. No matter how difficult our experience, the hand of God or the hands of God is holding us. Amen. Meron pa. Kasi may hawa akong mic at kaya nila pala kung open open. And a great wall. Mas basa natin sa Isaiah 35 verse 8. And a great wall, a great road will go through that once deserted land. It will be named Highway of Holiness. Evil-minded people will never travel on it. It will only for those who work in God's ways. Fools will never walk there. It is found in following God. Only the redeemed will follow or travel God's highways. God doesn't simply point the way. He's always beside us as we go. And in Psalm 25, verse 4, Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. David expresses his desire for guidance. How do we receive God's guidance? The first step is to want to be guided and to re realize that God's primary guidance system is His Word. By reading the Bible and constantly learning from it, we will gain the wisdom to perceive God's direction for our lives. When we are willing to seek God's God and obey His commands, then we will receive the specific guidance. Amen. My life is a journey. Our life, every one of us, life is a journey. But go in peace, for the Lord is waiting over our journeys. Yes. Now, my life journey continues. All alone am I. Literally, no father and mother, no sibling. We are four. No, tatlo na yung mag-epo na lang. Awala na akong brother-in-law na matay na rin. Sister-in-law na matay na rin. So, literally, all alone. But, happy and blessed. Yes! Why? I have friends, relatives, five loving children, three sons-in-law, and one daughter-in-law. Yan. But don't think that I am more blessed than you. Everybody is blessed in different ways, huh? Okay. Because I'm blessed, I pray that I be a blessing too. As another hymn goes, make me a blessing. Gusto ko sana pinawa. 
pakanta as I end this testimony, I would like sana to sing the song hindi maganda kasi yung boses ko. Kaya I just read the words na lang, make me a blessing. Do you know somebody? Know the song? Wala. Pasahin ko na lang ang lyrics. As I end my message, this is my prayer for each and every one. Tayo lahat that will be a blessing. Okay. Out in the highways and byways of life, Many are weary and sad. Carry the sunshine where darkness is rife, making the sorrowing glad. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. Out of my life, may Jesus shine. Make me a blessing, oh Savior, I pray. Make me a blessing to someone today. Tell the sweet story of Christ and His love. Tell of His power to forgive. Others will trust Him if only you believe. There every moment you live. Give as to us given to you in your need. Love as the Master love you. Be to the helpless a helper indeed. Unto your mission is true. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing out of my life. May Jesus shine. Make me a blessing. Oh, say. So you see how blessed am I. At kahit na ako po'y paborito nilang manugan, I'm going to call on Sheila to pray for mommy. Hindi po. Sa nalalaki, siya naman sa babae. Sheila, for Sheila. Are you coming? Sasamahan po siya na ang paboritong anak na lalaki. Oh, okay. Aba, aba, ang hinihintay si Sheila, kakata ka muna. Come on, Pastor Sheila. Mami, ali ka. Let's all bow our heads. Father God, uh, we thank you for the life of our Mother Pearl, Panginoon. Thank you for the, the strength, Panginoon, for the, the goodness that you've given into her life, Panginoon, up to this age, Panginoon. Thank you for giving her the opportunity, Father, na ma-encounter ka, Father God, na makilala namin siya, Panginoon, lalo na ating ng buong Great Nation Church, Panginoon. Thank you for the joy that you've given into your heart and for the joy that she's giving to each and every one of us, Panginoon. We pray continually, Panginoon, for um, for her good health, Panginoon. Uh, keep her safe, Panginoon. Always, wherever she goes, Panginoon. Make her healthy, Panginoon. Though she still misses our daddy, Panginoon. Uh, let your love comfort her, Panginoon. During those times na siya yung mga, may mga times na magiging mag-isa mag siya, Father God. Uh, use uh, our, the whole family, Panginoon. Ma Uh, kaibigan niya sa Philippines, Panginoon, to strengthen her as well during the times na nangihina siya, Father God. Uh, we thank for you for her life, Panginoon, and uh, as we as she goes back to the Philippines, Panginoon, we pray for uh, safety, Father God. We pray for 
Uh, your traveling mercy, Panginoon, na bawat hakbang niya, Panginoon, na bawat biyahe, Panginoon, mapa sa, uh, sa airplane man ito, Panginoon, uh, until she lands to the Philippines, Father, uh, we uh, pray that you'll keep her safe, Panginoon, that everyone that she will encounter, Panginoon, during the travel as well, will be blessed, Panginoon, with her life. Uh, we will surely miss her, Father God, but we know that uh, you will bring her uh, back to us again, Panginoon, in your due time, Panginoon. And uh, during those times, Father, la, let your love uh, fill her, Panginoon, uh, and to us, to us, Father, and to the whole family, Father God. Thank you for the blessing and this for opportunity to be with her and for the time, Panginoon. Uh, all this we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.